Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm at PubCon in Las Vegas with Jill Whalen. Jill has uh, been around search engine optimization for a long time, taught a lot of people this whole area. Now, I want to talk with you about this new thing that's come up in the last few months with uh, paid links. What's been happening? And, and kind of give us a little bit of background on this. Sure. Um, people have been, of course, purchasing links on other websites as a way to get extra page rank from Google and link popularity because it's um, an easier way to do it than, than to just necessarily make a great site that so gets natural links. If you've got more money than time, that's the way to, exactly. a lot of people have approached it. Right. And so it, although they're buying links sort of as advertising, which is, which is fine, and, and Google doesn't have a problem with people advertising their websites on other websites, but uh, it, it, it kind of messes with Google's page rank algorithm. Um, you know the way that they 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 will um, determine the relevance of, of a website. And so, so, so Google has been using links for the last several years. To you know, the more links, that means the more people are interested in what you do. That's kind of their their right. idea. But if you're paying for links, then you're kind of manipulating the system. At least that's how Google thinks about it. Exactly. That's that's what they think. <laughs> So, so it's 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 become a problem because more and more SEO types are buying links for their clients, or clients, or or just businesses are buying their own links, and it, it does mess with the system and it, and it puts pages higher in the uh, rankings than they might otherwise be, which Google doesn't particularly care for. Now it used to be Google said naughty naughty don't do that. What's right. happened recently? Right. Recently they've they've really kind of cracked down on it. You know they can they could determine. Uh, these paid links to a certain extent by themselves, but they can't they can't find them all. They they just look like regular links to them. So they've they've had people like Matt Cuts from Google telling others you should be snitching on anyone that you see is selling paid links, <laughs> and um, and apparently people are are doing that. And uh, so 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 that's one thing. You you know you tell on your 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 competitor or, or whatever who's selling links or buying links, uh, and and then they will perhaps discount those links so they don't count in the PageRank algorithm. Um, they've been dropping toolbar PageRank, the little the little graph you see in in the in the tool in the toolbar on your browser, they've been dropping those if they find that there's a lot of paid links on the site. So you might have had like a page rank of, of six or five or four and then it, if they find paid links, it drops you down a notch. So right. you're not going to show up as high on the search engine ranking. So it used to help you. Now it actually will will actively hurt you, it well, sounds like. Well, the interesting thing was it was dropping the page rank number on the toolbar, but not necessarily hurting rankings um, really? at first. It was, it's more, it was more like a, a slap on the wrist to say this is what we're doing. So if you didn't care what your toolbar page rank was, you might... You yeah. know, ignore it and keep on going. And but pe people have looked at toolbar page rank as kind of a, a an artifact for a long time, and not taking it too seriously. The people that actually know. Yeah, but a lot of people do. So, <laughs> is it <laughs> affecting <laughs> rankings, though? That's the question. It, it it didn't appear that it was affecting rankings from all reports that I've heard um, from people online. Um, but but a lot of them that scared them enough, which I think is what Google's plan was. It scared them enough to, to get rid of some of the paid links or to put in that no follow tag that that Google recommends. So what is a no follow tag? What, what, and how does that work? It's it's actually a, an attribute of a, of a link um, that you can put in your code that basically tells the search engines don't count this link towards any kind of link popularity. Mm -hmm. um, Google is really the only one that supports it. 100% or supposedly does according to what they say. Um, so it's, it's something you can, if you do want to buy and sell ads and you use that attribute, um, then Google doesn't have a problem with your links because it's not going to count towards your page rank. So if I have ads on my site, should I be putting that no follow uh, tag into the, into the link? If you want to keep Google happy, <laughs> you, 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 you should. Okay. Um, if you don't really care and you just want to buy and sell your ads, and you know, then that's that's up to you. Now, if I've been buying links, do you have any advice for me? I 
say you really have to go under the radar these days. Um, and I've, al- I've always thought that. And I think blatantly just, you know, buying and selling these links that are obviously paid links has always been kind of a, a risk. So, you know, go under the radar. Find um, hobby sites that are on your subject and, you know, contact the people who run those sites directly and, and see if they they will add a link to your site somehow within their content um, and, and, mm-hmm. and you know, just offer them whatever a certain amount of money that you want. I, I think that's In other words, they have it. to be relevant. Yeah, well, it's always... <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that one of the examples uh, back a ways was Stanford Daily was having irrelevant links at the bottom of their home page, and yeah. that kind of got everybody's attention because Stanford was the, the, the place where Google got its start in right. one sense. But uh, Yeah, and, and I mean, even some of these purchased links have been relevant on relevant sites, but it's gone beyond that where Google mm-hmm. doesn't even care if they're relevant. Yeah. And be aware that your competitors could turn you in. Yep. <laughs> so uh, be careful out there. Yeah, yeah. right. All right. Well, thanks for talking with me about this. Tell me about your business, Jill, and what you do. Well, um, I, I'm the CEO of High Rankings, which is at highrankings.com, and um, we do SEO services, generally organic SEO. Uh, we offer for for um, companies large and small. Um, also, do some in-house training for SEO for for um, marketing managers of, of companies. And um, I have a newsletter that, that I've been doing since 2000 that, that um, goes out to about 25,000 subscribers these days. So um, people can check that out. That's great. Well, thanks so much. Sure. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. 